country and certainly much of, of the state did see about a quarter of a zone warmer from the previous map. An Iowa State University specialist says new data shows Iowa's average temperature has warmed up slightly over the last 30 years, and that could change what crops farmers plant in the fields and what gardeners put in their yards. The USDA plant hardiness zone map is often used by gardeners as a way to see what plants can survive these colder temperatures. KCRG TV9's Brian Tabak now joins us live in the studio with more. And Jim, you can see the differences between these two maps. This is the new one from 2023, as you can see up there, and the one from over there was published back in 2012. Your focus is really on the difference between the light and the darker blue here. You can see much of that southern portion of the map saw slightly warmer average temperatures. Now, these changes could impact what plants can thrive in eastern Iowa. These things will be ready in uh, the mid-April to the 1st of May. Just because it's winter doesn't mean there's not work to be done at Pearson's Flower Shop and Greenhouse. Growers here are already gearing up for the spring planting season. Hundreds of pots being filled here <clears throat> that will be planted next week. But when it comes to picking out what plants he wants to sell, he says the hardiness level is an important part of that decision. There's always a, uh, a customer or a plant or two that you're going to lose to, a, to an er, uh, early frost or, you know, that they're not prepared for. The USDA released a new plant hardiness zone map showing Iowa's average temperature increased slightly over the last 30 years. Most of Iowa didn't really change that much. Aaron Style, consumer horticultural extension specialist at Iowa State University, says this is only a slight change in the average temperature. He says the difference between the two maps also shows the difference in how many plants can now better survive Iowa winters. And he says Iowans can potentially grow more diverse plants. If we can plant trees in many different species and uh, many different genera, then we are more likely to not see this big loss due to an insect or disease. And a great example of that is emerald ash borer. More plants capable of surviving Iowa winters means more business for people like Pearson. But he says people still need to do their homework. Do your research. Ask a professional for advice on it. This is the third time the map has been updated since it originally came out in 1990. In the studio, Brian Tabak, KCRG TV9 News.